Hi everybody, welcome back, Sip City. My god, we're doing very well. We're doing very well. Look at this. We're making 2,000 bucks an hour. We got 138,000 bucks in the bank. Uh, no major problems uh, to be reported so far. We're, we're doing all right. We got a couple of little things that we need to work on today uh, to get things running even smoother than they already are. Um, traffic is becoming a little bit of a problem. Sewage is also a little bit of a problem. And we said last episode that we want to start looking at uh, potentially getting more education in the city. That would be nice. Getting everybody all trained up, ready for some high-tech industry. It would be very good. We also need to expand our oil operations to make even more bazingas, uh, which is always very good as well. Uh, so let's get to it. I'm going to increase the speed from turtle to llama so that we all stop uh, ogling at Sip City in, in its full majestic glory at the moment. There we go. Look at, oh shit, look at, look at this. The city w is working overtime. Look at all these oil pumps. God, yeah. All these people are just sitting in their houses looking at the oil fields like, yeah! Big money! Yeah! That's nice. I like all that. Okay, so, uh, sewage first. Uh, our top priority. Look at this. We've got uh, 0 0.2 kilo... Uh, kilogallons uh, an hour excess, which is uh, not enough. Um, pretty soon the entire city is going to be overwhelmed by shit. <laughs> so we're going to have to start treating it. Uh, and we're going to use this. We're going to use the sewage treatment plant to do that. Uh, quite expensive, 64,000 bucks and 400 bucks an hour to uh, maintain, uh, but we can totally afford it. Uh, it's going to cut our um, our treasury almost in half, uh, but uh, our hourly is still going to be very, very healthy uh, after all is said and done, so that should be fine. Uh, we don't want a shit field, uh, and a little bit of a shit field is developing here. Look at all this shit going out into this field. Uh, so this sewage treatment plant is going to avoid all that. Great. Where do we want to place it? Uh, we want to hopefully place it somewhere in here, uh, by all this industry, uh, which will mean knocking down a couple of factories, but I, I'm sure we can live with that for now. We'll knock down a couple of factories and we'll make up for it, uh, elsewhere, uh, possibly up there when we get rid of the pipe. So, uh, let's go for it. We should have room for expansion here. It's sort of right next to, oh, actually, no, it's right next to the oil power plant, which is maybe not the best place. Uh, how about, like, up here? How about up here somewhere? Um, like here. There we go. That'll do. That'll be fine. We got rid of a big factory, which is a little bit of a problem. Uh, and we've added to, um, the land value being decreased around here. But that's okay. We can, uh, we can make up for it by building a nice park. When everybody comes to visit the park, they're gonna notice that actually there's a massive sewage treatment plant right next to it. <laughs> which is, uh, which is not the best, really. But, again, later on, when we're just swimming in cash, uh, we can relocate it if it's causing problems, uh, in, in this in this residential area. I mean, this residential area is in an unfortunate position of being uh, nestled in between massive oil fields and a uh, huge industrial sector. Uh, so there's not too much you can do about that, but that's okay. Okay, so sewage treatment plant is closed, is now hiring. Hopefully we'll get enough people to turn up to work here and start treating some of the sewage. That would be very nice. You can see the nice cylinder there is ready to take the sewage and turn it back into fresh water uh, for people to drink. Kind of disgusting. I think that's what it does anyway. I haven't even checked. I'm just assuming that that's what it does. Is that even possible? Good God. I don't, I don't know if I really want to drink the water that used to have uh, my poop in it. That's one thing that I'm just not too sure of. Uh, but there you go. So, sewage. Sorted. Look at that. It's taking everything. It's taking it all into these cylinders uh, and churning it around and doing stuff with it, treating it. Uh, we now have 69 kilogallons, 70 excess. And look at the treatment. 88% treated now. Very good. Which means that we can power off this bad boy. Do I want to learn about approval rating and happiness? No, I don't. Get out of my face. Um, no, we don't need to learn about that. We already know all about it, uh, so it's fine. Okay, so 88% treated. This should go to 100% uh, eventually because this sewage outflow pipe is now closed. Uh, we can bulldoze its ass into oblivion. See you later, outflow pipe. Uh, you'll notice that the ground is a little bit darker around here, and this is massive ground pollution, unfortunately. Lots of ground pollution. 
Uh, for now, though, it doesn't really matter. We're going to get uh, a factory built on top of that ground pollution uh, and pollute it even more. So this, uh, this poor area of Sip City, massively polluted. Uh, not the best. Oh, look at the traffic. Holy shit, look at all this traffic. Look, it's a massive traffic jam. Not not the greatest, but as the city grows, unfortunately, uh, the way the game is now, I think there are actual problems with traffic, amongst other things. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it hasn't been the smoothest launch. There are still a couple of things broken in the game, and by a couple of things, I mean quite a few things. But we'll bear with them, because it's such a fun game. Well, I find it fun anyway. And, um... And, and I'm, I'm sure that they're going to patch it all fairly soon anyway, so it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, that being said, if we get massively, massively congested, uh, we'll just start another city um, and then wait until everything gets fixed and then come back to this city, Sip City, and make it even more fantastic. If that's even possible. I mean, look at it. It's pretty goddamn fantastic. Okay, so uh, we, wanted a, we wanted to get this treatment plant up and running. It is now up and running. Uh, tons of capacity for shit to flow into it. Uh, wrong one. There we go. We can watch all of the poop make its way to the sewage treatment plant. It's going down this avenue. Uh, it's kind of like that slime in Ghostbusters 2. All the negative emotions of everybody in the city uh, manifesting itself as slime underneath the city. And of course the Ghostbusters like fall into it and start fighting and trying to tear each other's faces off. It's the exact same thing. This is just is pretty much the exact same thing. Um, so there we go. Uh, lots of poop being collected and treated. Good stuff. Um, what did we? Uh, what else did we want to do? We wanted to expand the oil fields, and we've got a ton of money to do so. So let's get on it. We want more oil. We want to be able to um, meet our massive target of 160,000 big ones a day uh, for oil. Uh, selling oil, so let's go for it. Let's get another pump jack here Let's expand this road down here and get some more pump jacks uh, Not too far although this road we don't want it to actually go through the oil field So that's fine. We'll, we'll have it bend down and, and and come over again after that'll be fine. Okay uh, Pump jack is there room for a pump jack here. Oh, there is too. Look we can put a pump jack here Okay, let's do it we're burning through all our money, but we can probably max this out, actually, uh, and still be in the green, uh, which is very good. Very, very good. Uh, is there room on the end here? No, we're going to have to expand this out a little bit. I'm trying to be very, very good with the spacing, because we want to fit as many of these pump jacks as we can into uh, this oil. We want all of it. We want all the oil. Let's get another delivery truck. Uh, oh, my God. I don't think we can build one. I think we where I was going to build it. The sign is there now. Uh, can we build it along here somewhere? Not on the oil field. We'll come back to it. Oh, actually, maybe up here is okay. There's no oil up there, so that's fine. And and, and another one on, on a little bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil. That's fine. Okay, great. Cool. Lots of money still to play with. I haven't had to take a bond out yet. It's got to be said. That's not bad going. Most people, I think, by now would have taken a bond out. Old Sipsy here, though, and has not had to take out a single bond. Look at that. Amazing. And it's all off the back of selling oil. Lots of oil. Uh, 63,000 bucks a day uh, is so far our highest. Uh, we're sort of, well, just under 100,000 bucks off our, uh, our target there to upgrade the Petroleum HQ. Very good going so far. Very good indeed. All right. Oh, shit. You see that plane? Pew. Okay. Um, schools. How are we doing for schools? We don't have the Ministry of Education, uh, which we're going to need if we want to have high schools. Uh, oh, no, not high schools. Sorry, I lie. Uh, we need Department of Education for... Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was... That's the college. You don't need one for the community college. Interesting. I did not realize that. You do, however, need one for high school, and you need one for university as well. University is key to getting that uh, that third rung of tech. Let's just take a quick look at that. Napper machine parts. As you can see here, we've got the density down here for industrial, and we got the tech level. Tech level depends on the education that you have available in the city. Um, the first tech level you can get by placing, I think it's just normal schools. I don't even think you need a high school. Uh, you can actually get to that first tech level uh, just by having normal schools uh, in the in the city. Uh, but then 
further to that, you need to have a community college, which will increase the tech level once again, and the university, which can get you to the third tech level. Uh, third tech level, when they get to the third tech level, I think the second tech level is like box factories and like components and stuff like that. Uh, and then the third tech level is like aerospace parts and, and like fancy shit like that. Basically, once you unlock that third tech level, you can also build uh, processor uh, factories, uh, which you can use like plastics and, and other shit from your recycling plant to make and make a ton of money on, on the global market. Um, and then eventually you can c become a gazillionaire by um, building a lot of TVs, mass manufacturing TVs and selling them, uh, and become like a massive TV tycoon. And that's that's the life for me. That's where I want to go. I want to make TVs. That'd be great. Check this out. My God, we need rich people now. Apparently, we need tons of middle uh, middle income, middle wealth uh, commercial. We've got very high demand for industrial, and look at this: high demand for low and medium wealth as well. My God, it's almost maxed out. So anything that we build uh, will attract people because we need a little bit of everything uh, by the looks of it. Uh, let's start with some commercial then. Uh, we can line this road here with some more commercial should be good uh, of course uh, these will be traveled to very frequently because of this little block of residential down here look at these places are all making a lot of profit uh, except for brain juice who's complaining probably just complaining that this area isn't healthy because they're not making a lot of profits but then instead of just recognizing that maybe brain juice is a shit store uh, they're blaming uh, the unhealthiness of the area on their failings. That's a, that's a pretty typical dick move, I think. If you run a business or whatever and it's not doing very well and you just blame random other shit. Oh, it was a waxing gibbous moon last night and that's why my company is not making a lot of money. Yeah, right, brain juice. We know. We know it's because nobody in this city wants brain juice, okay? Nobody wants to drink brain juice from a teacup with orange steaming lines coming out of it. Yeah, that's right, brain juice. Maybe I'll go even one step further. Maybe I'll get the old uh, bulldozer in here and uh, and get rid of the complainers. Oh, look at this. Local businesses establish home businesses in the city. That's great. So that means that there's a couple of people out here working from home, working on the internet. Maybe they're stuffing envelopes. Maybe they're just like doing like data inputting or like earning bitcoins. Oh man, that and that's that's the joy of, of Sip City. You can do all of that and more in Sip City. Uh, how's industry doing? Clothes needs workers. Business is great. Freight shipments are making huge profits. Great, huge profits, huge profits, huge profits. Every everybody's happy except for this one. Uh, <laughs> fidgets, widgets. Who needs workers? Look at that. Kind of looks like the Sipsco um, factory, the uh, dirt factory from the Tekken series. I think a lot of people were mentioning that as well. Uh, one of the other factories over here looks uh, remarkably similar too, I think. But I might have knocked it down when I built the sewage treatment plant. Oh no, it's this one here. Look at it. There you go. See with those sloped roofs? That's pretty nice. Okay. Um, so, schools. I think we could probably... in increase uh well let's just take a look at education for now and see uh we've got 550 of 630 people in the city enrolled uh, for education we have a capacity for 550 and that's probably why we don't have that last sort of uh bit of enrollment so uh i think i've screwed myself over with this school unfortunately i can't build a top level on this classroom because it's already full uh, oh no, I haven't. Oh, perfect. Okay, great. I can fill. I can fit another classroom here, uh, which we can totally afford. Uh, and let's get the last two school buses. If there's space, there's no. Sp oh, there's space. Okay, great. Look at these school buses. We've got tons of school buses. It's gonna cost a little bit to maintain the school now because it's like almost maxed out. Uh, well, it will be after we get the top floor classroom on this other wing here. Uh, but that's fine. We can now accommodate 750 students, which is very good. That's We've got some breathing room now for uh, primary education. Not everybody's going to want to go here, but we're already maxing the school out. So at least we're making the most of the fact that we've spent tons of money on this school. Very nice. Um, we could also get a library. Let's get a library. Public library? There is no sim as loyal as a book. Sims visit the public library when they can't afford to go shopping. As Sims visit the public library, your city will gradually become more educated. For 10,000 bucks and 100 bucks an hour, 
That sounds good to me. Uh, only a capacity for 200, but not really expecting that many people to uh, rock up to the library every single day. Uh, it's got to be said. Let's put the library down here, maybe, for the benefit of these people. They already live far away from the school, so why not give them better access to the library, and then those people will have to travel to get to the library. Uh, now, the question is, where the hell do we want to put this library? Will it fit in one of these blocks nicely? Not really. Uh, what about, like, here or here? No. Along the busy avenue? For the library? Oh, maybe not the best. Might not be the best. We might actually have to put it up here in the end. Maybe we can have it here. Uh, like, on this round bit. Oh, you know what? We're gonna put it here. Bam. That looks nice. To me, that looks nice. I like that. And it's increased the, uh, the, the wealth of the people. The surrounding houses. Because look at some of these are still... Oh, not anymore. Look, they're all upgrading. Except for these chumps here. Who, who think that they're being so clever by living in a little motorhome with solar panels on the roof. I think the solar panels start appearing on the uh, buildings as people get become more educated. Uh, in this game, the more educated they become, the more likely they are to recycle. Uh, and I guess they they put solar panels on their roofs to help with the, with the power um, situation in the city. Not that we have any problems with power because of this big bastard here. Look at this thing. Oh shit, yeah. I wish you could name buildings in this. I would actually call this building Big Bastard. I think that would be fantastic. Uh, sadly you can't. Maybe, who knows, maybe it'll come in a patch. Maybe if I ask enough, like send an email to Maxis. Dear Maxis, hi, my name is Sips. I love SimCity. I was wondering if maybe you could patch in an option that I can name buildings because I really want to name my oil power plant in my city called Sip City, Big Bastard. Uh, thank you in advance, your loyal fan, Sips. No? Just me? My dad? Okay. Oh! Look at that! I got an achievement for placing down a school bus where there was no coverage. Uh, look, and these people live right behind the school as well. Um, 20 school bus stops. Not bad. That's a lot of bus stops. That's a lot of coverage. A lot of good coverage. Oh shit, look at this! Oh man! We're getting like a, a fairly big building here. A fairly big commercial building. I think it's gonna be some sort of like shopping... Multi-story shopping center, which is not bad. That's pretty good. Uh, City Hall, we still need... Oh, God, we still need quite a few people to get our next upgrade. We need 14,995 residents to get the next upgrade for City Hall. We'll be able to open another department, maybe of education, so that we can get universities. That might be a sensible thing to do. Get everybody uh, sharper than knives in this city, and then we can open some high-tech. That would be very good. I like high-tech. I really like high-tech, actually. It's, it's, it's nice. Uh, Petroleum HQ hasn't updated since the last time. How are we doing here? Oh my god, 8,900 barrels a day. And the first one that we put down is now extracting 11,900 barrels. Are we capacity-wise okay at the Trade Depot still? We're fine, which is great. That's very good. Oh my god, everything is just going really, really well. Really, really, really well. Uh, do we need any more? Let's take a look at the land value map and just see where we're at see why these people took such a plunge okay i can see look the land value here is not the greatest and it's because of all this industry at the back look at all this red industry you gotta love the data maps in this game uh, they're really nice i like the, how the overlays work i like how you can still see all the people and stuff i just think that that's really cool so this is a like a really shitty area of town this is also a very shitty area of town uh not too bad down here. It's like somewhat nice. We could do with some more parks, though. So let's get some nature parks up. We can stay in this view to get some nature parks up. And actually, you can probably uh, do with maybe one of these. Straight path park. Oh, that fits perfectly. Look at this. We can raise the value of this whole area here with this park. This path park. There we go. And it's done. We've done it. Look at that. We've raised the value already. All these people have become at least medium wealth. Uh, I'm pretty sure we need some rich people, uh, which we're going to have to look at getting at some point. Rich people, we probably want to keep in an area by themselves, like maybe like over here or something. Uh, they don't take mass transit. 
Uh, they use their cars to get everywhere. They drive their Porsches uh, everywhere and, and laugh the whole time they're in their Porsches. They're all convertibles, obviously, so they put down the sunroof and they drive through the city laughing their heads off at everybody because they're so rich. And that's what rich people do. When you get a lot of money in life, that's the first thing you need to do is just drive around everywhere and laugh at everybody uh, because everybody just wants money. But these rich people already have tons of it, and that's why they laugh so much because they're so happy. Um... Well, we can think about doing that after. I think um, I think now what we need to do is we need to get some mass transit sorted out for this city. We need some. We need a shuttle bus station, which we can totally afford. My God, uh, we're going to be able to afford the monthly as well, and we're going to have to plop bus stops down all over the place and encourage all of these bastards to start using um, mass transport. Because my God, look at this avenue is just completely congested look at how long <laughs> look at how long this queue of traffic is my god people in city hall are just looking out here every day thinking what the hell are we doing wrong what how have we failed these people so badly that they have to sit in traffic for like nine hours a day uh, just to get they don't even have time to work full time oh shit police as well i f totally forgot we've got two criminals per day now look it's on the up Oh shit, somebody's tried to shoplift at Glass House Window Cleaning. Uh, and we've also got a criminal living in the Slidell Studio Apartments. Also, Durnford residents. Oh my god. It's the elusive Dr. Durnford, the, uh, the crim. Okay, let's get some cops. Let's get some cops on the beats. We'll close this map. Uh, we'll get some cops. It's gonna be great. Uh, where are we gonna put the cops? We need to put the cops down somewhere where they can, uh have fairly easy access to the rest of the city without being stuck in traffic jams. Unfortunately, that's unavoidable on this avenue for now. Um, but usually sticking them in the industrial area is is not not too bad of a shout. And probably over here would be decent because the traffic on this road isn't going to be too bad. Traffic coming out of the residential road across the street from the intersection is going to be terrible. So at least these co cop cars are going to be able to get out and do their thing. So I think here is as good a place as any for a police station and there we go we got police coverage for neighbors available apparently uh i'm not quite sure about that um cop stations thirty thousand bucks to place and uh 400 bucks an hour they're not cheap uh they're not cheap at all and usually you don't need them until later on thankfully anyway so let's get in here let's get into the edit mode look we got two cop cars on standby and this cool radar dish look at that beep 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 put the sign down put the sign down here we go this is great uh we've got a flagpole as well that we can put outside the police station hurrah uh let's get uh for ten thousand bucks let's get some extra patrol cars just to um get a bit more coverage across the city we don't have a lot of crime at the moment but we don't want crime to become a problem so if we're proactive enough we can get good coverage and we won't get any more crime uh and that'll be nice so out of the overlay uh out of the police station Oh, look, they're out on patrol already. It's fantastic. It's kind of cool how this works, too. Check this out. Okay, we're going to go into the crime overlay. Crime map. Now, where's the cars? Can't see any of the cars yet. They haven't left the station. See the coverage around the station? Very good. See? Map coverage? High. What's going to happen now is these patrol cars are going to go out on patrol. Oh, look at this. He went out to the region. Uh, maybe there was like a, like a tree theft out in the forest somewhere. They're going to patrol around, and you see, like, they stop every once in a while. Look at these guys. See, they're just stopping. Every time they stop, uh, they add a bit of extra coverage to the map. See, like, it's sort of turning a little bit blue. Oh, look, see, like, this whole area has turned very blue now. Uh, and then that will slowly degrade over time and become, like, orange or yellow, depending if it's, like, a designated crime hotspot. So that's what I'm saying. If you're proactive with your... Oh, look at that. Bad move, creeps. Have your police capture their first criminal. Fantastic. Uh, as I was saying, if you're proactive with your police coverage, you can get your whole map sort of uh, this nice sort of lilac color. Uh, coverage will be good, and you're less likely to have problems with criminals because as crime increases across your city, people get really fucking pissed off with you, and they move, uh, and they leave abandoned houses which catch fire. The knock-on effects of crime always bad in real life plus in game another example of where uh, real life and game meet and it both it works the same same way uh, in both so there we go we got the cops going around they're making arrests all this stuff is sort of past events see like there was an arrest here 
there was a shoplifting at the short store. Uh, we saw this one before, the glass house window cleaning. There was a shoplifting here as well. Somebody was arrested in wood trim apartments. Uh, quite high crime here. I think there was a criminal living in the Durnford residence who has now been apprehended and is being rehabilitated in the police station. Uh, rehabilitation consists of being smacked with a nightstick and not being fed uh, in Sip City. Uh, I decree it as the mayor and therefore it shall be. Ha! Oh god, I'm, I'm so brutal. So, Slidell Studio Apartments and the Dernhold, uh, Dernford, so Dernhold, Dernford residents need to be uh, patrolled to bring the crime rate down, but otherwise, we're looking pretty good. Look, the crime map is not too bad. We've spent a little bit of money to get crime cleaned up in the city, but it's going to be well worth it. Everybody's going to feel a lot safer with patrol cars going around everywhere, stopping crime in a future time, just like cops. We've got Long Arm, and we've got that dude with the trench coat. Uh, and the Joker and fucking everything because because it's Sip City and that's the kind of stuff that we attract in this marvelous place. Um, throwbacks to when I was young and I watched a, a show called Cops. Was it Cops? I can't even remember if it was called Cops. If you guys know what I'm talking about with Long Arm and the other guy and they had that really cool police helicopter with like the blue and the red uh, cockpit colors and stuff. Uh, I can't remember the name of the goddamn show, but it was it was pretty fantastic and they had cool toys too They had a guy named Big Boss Man. I think I think his name was Big Boss Man God damn it. I don't even know. Okay um, So police we've got a library Now we need mass mass transport. We need some buses. Look at this. So we're in the mass transit uh, menu we don't have anything approved for anything beyond shuttle buses. Look, streetcars. Uh, oh no, we can get streetcars. Okay, cool. Trains, we can't get though. Boats, I don't think we can get. And planes, we can't get either. And that's because we need the Ministry of Transport for the City Hall. But we can definitely get buses. We can get these shuttle bus depots. Help your Sims get around the city. Shuttle buses stop here for low and medium wealth Sims. Fantastic. So you. Plop this down, 20,000 bucks, 300 bucks an hour, uh, and you get three buses with it. And those buses will travel around and take people to all the cool bus stops all across your city, uh, which is very good. So let's plop this down uh, right next to all these commercial buildings. They will be very thankful for it because commercial buildings love mass transit being built uh, close to them. Look at this. We've got a park and ride. If we don't want to have a bus stop, we can get people to drive to this park and ride instead and not congest up our, our massive avenue here. So let's get a park and ride in the corner here. Hopefully people will drive to that, park up their cars and, uh, and, and catch the bus. Let's also get a park and ride over here too. You gotta love a park and ride. Look, all these people should actually drive park up here and take the bus. And that'll be good. Those count as shuttle bus stops as well. Obviously, the buses stop at them and pick up all the people that have parked their cars. Uh, we don't need a park and ride anywhere in here because um, nobody lives in these places. They only travel here to work and stuff. So we have a park and ride in both of our residential areas. We can hopefully stem the flow of traffic out of these junction points here uh, and keep people sort of going to these. And for everybody else who doesn't have a car or drive to work or whatever, we'll just set up really good bus stop coverage all over the goddamn city for them by placing these bus stops everywhere. Look at this. Oh shit, yeah. You want to get everything all nice and green. Uh, the buses will stop at every stop, so don't worry about it. Just place as many as you need. Uh, I like to sort of place them like realistically like a bus stop right in front of the library that would exist in real life because the library is a place that people want to go to they definitely want to go there they also want to stop at shopping destinations along this big avenue so we're going to set up some bus stops uh, let's set one up at Petroleum HQ in case there's people that want to come here as well. We'll set one up just further down on the other side of the avenue. Oh, look at that. We picked up 10 tons of garbage in a day. Garbage man! Picking up the garbage everywhere. Oh, God. Um, okay, bus stops. More bus stops. We're setting up a ton of bus stops all over the goddamn city. Uh, we want one outside the clinic in case people need to take the bus to get their arms repaired after <laughs> after severing them in tragic woodworking accidents. It happens. Unfortunately, it's one of those things that happens and you can't avoid it. Uh, and sometimes you do, do need to take the bus to the clinic if there's no taxis or loved ones available to drive you there. Um, bit of a problem sometimes. Okay, bus coverage should be very good. 
already 121 people, 127, sorry. Well, it's, it's increasing every minute now. A lot of people have decided that they're going to start taking the bus. Uh, average wait time for the bus is going down at 27, uh, 26. Oh, no, it's going up now. 27 minutes, which isn't a problem. Uh, we've still got a lot of money, so let's get some more buses. We want to make sure we have enough buses in here. Look at this. 7,000 bucks and 100 bucks an hour, but it gives you three more buses is great we're gonna put two of these down we're gonna have just a shit ton of buses circulating the city we're gonna bring that average wait time down we're gonna increase the amount of riders and hopefully we're gonna get rid of a lot of this traffic congestion that we've been experiencing what the fuck do you want hey mayor my friends and i want to do a fireworks show for everyone <laughs> god damn it huh safety Meh. we might cause some fires but no worries reward fifty thousand. I don't know if you've ever tried this, if you play this game, it's awful. It just sets your whole city on fire pretty much. You need massive coverage. And the way fire trucks work at the moment, not very good. Basically, the amount of fire trucks you have <laughs> doesn't matter. If you have five fire trucks, they're all going to go to the same fire. And they're not going to put it out any quicker than they would have if just one showed up. So, not worth doing. We have more than enough money. We don't need to do that. Oh shit, look, it's this guy. I think this is the Vu Towers guy. Is it? Ah, Mayor Sip, so glad you could join us. Just think of all the dreadful misdeeds and crimes we will commit. Bless your cold, villainous heart. I'm Dr. Stone, Boo's right-hand man. Aw, oh, yeah, look at this guy's tash, holy shit. Uh, our first task at hand is to turn this innocent little town into a breeding ground for criminals. Let's get more polluting factories around here and do whatever it takes to get more criminals in the city. All right. I must also ask you to build a tower for Dr. Vu and his henchmen. He's quite tired of running his operation out of the local copy shop. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, let's accept that. Uh, like I said, I think it was last episode or maybe a couple episodes ago. Vote on your feet, people. If you want me to go evil, I will do it. If you want me to get Max's man, I will do it. Um, majority rules, as always. So uh, if I see way more comments for people saying, Build Vu Towers! I will build Vu Towers. Uh, possibly next episode, because we're at the point now where we can afford either one. Because we just have a shit ton of money. We've got money literally dripping out of our asses. Uh, which is very nice. And kind of disgusting at the same time. Um... But that doesn't matter. Okay, well, we did a lot. We did a lot this episode. We did all the things that we wanted to do that we said we wanted to do last episode, I'm pretty sure. Uh, things are improving. 7,544 chumps living in Sip City. Hopefully the mass transit or introduction of man tra mass, man transit? mass transit has uh, has alleviated some of our traffic problems. It's doubtful that it has because I think traffic is like horribly broken still. But uh, but we live in hope. Hopefully we can get all these people to these park and rides. Maybe that's working. God knows. There does seem to be a lot less traffic. It's got to be said. Although now uh, looks like all the factories and commercial buildings are emptying out for the day. Uh, and and no, uh, there's still a ton of traffic. Maybe they just forgot to take the bus on the first day of the buses being in the city. Who knows? But, as usual, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. You should be getting these fairly regularly, actually. Um, I've sort of batch recorded enough so that I can post these regularly. There's a lot of people really want to see more episodes of this, uh, which is great. I'm having a fantastic time playing it. So, if you want me to keep going, obviously, keep letting me know. Keep leaving comments, likes, all that good stuff. Uh, and we'll, we'll play the shit out of this game, uh, because it's fun. It's a great game. Okay, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.